What's up you guys? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to blur a moving image like this one. There are plenty of times when I've been asked by clients to blur out account numbers on computer screens or blur out people's faces and things like that. Let's say we have this shot right here. Looks great and all, but there's a huge problem. Well, Jonathan Anderson here, his mom refused to sign the release form for little Johnny's wheat field shoot today. And now Kevin has to suffer the consequences huh? because now it's gonna look like an episode of Cops. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Hey, you know what? As long as I get paid, I'm all right with that. Let's get started, shall we? Once you have the layer in your timeline, click on it, go to animation, track camera. Now before this thing finishes, go down on your timeline, hit E to open up the 3D camera tracker, go in here, go into advanced and turn on detailed analysis. I'm gonna click on render track points for now just so I can see the tracking points while I play this back. Because what I wanna do is I wanna find some tracking points that are constant, ones that stay on him the longest. And I'm gonna find a spot where three of these points live together, right there. Right click on it, go to create solid and camera. I'm gonna hit R to bring up orientation and I'm gonna zero out all these numbers. I'm gonna turn off render track points. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is just go to layer, new, adjustment layer. We're gonna go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur, turn on repeat edge pixels, and I'm gonna make this about, let's say 30. We're gonna make this adjustment layer 3D. We're gonna parent it to the solid, and then we're gonna turn off this solid because we don't need to see it. Click on your adjustment layer, hit Q to drag a circular mask around this guy's face. And I'm also gonna feather it by hitting F on the keyboard, and we'll feather it to about 20. Now let's play this back and see what it looks like. Go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny, be good. Cool, now Jonathan Anderson's mom is happy because his identity has been protected. And Kevin is not happy and will probably set this video to private on his Vimeo account so no one ever sees it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. You can of course use this technique for pretty much anything. If you wanna add a graphic to a shot, if you wanna blur social security numbers on a computer screen, or add things to your shot that weren't there before, this is how you do it. You can add comps, solid text, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe, share it on social media, and I'll see you guys next time.